Today, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, take YouTube videos that you've created or someone else has created and scrape the text from it, put it into ChatGPT to make instructions uh, for whatever you need. In this case, it's pop-up tents for uh, customer setup because we offer customer setup for pop-up tents. What's up guys, what's Lee here, the rental guy, and today I wanna go over real life examples, how I use ChatGPT to make my party rental business easier. So we rent 10 by 20 uh, pop-up tents to customers that they pick up, they set up themselves, and they return. But they need a video, and they need an email, they need instructions. This is so important because customers, they break the tent, they mistreat the tent, uh, they set up the tent wrong, they do all the wrong stuff. But when you give them the instructions, the video, and make them watch it, they do everything right. Your tent doesn't get broken, and you are successful at having customer pickups for 10 by 20 pop-up tents. So this is important. So I took the time to actually make a video right here and I'll link it up just so you can see the video how I made it in case you wanna make one like it of your own. And um, how am I gonna get it to the customers so that uh, every time that they pick up, they have instructions sent to them. So I just grab the link from it, copy that link, go over to ChatGPT. I said, is there a website that will take YouTube videos and get words from it? It's like, yes, I want a free option. Then it was like, oh, Downsub's great. So I went to Downsub. So we just paste the video in, we press download, and then we download the TXT file. It's up there. Okay, if you're still with me, the TXT file is basically the subtitles from the video. So I made the YouTube video explaining this tent stuff. It literally grabs the captions from that, puts it in a text file so that I can put it into ChatGBT. Then you'll see what we do next. So basically that just took all the subtitles from the video and it made them into a text file that I can put into ChatGBT and then I can tell it to organize it into instructions. So let's go back over to ChatGPT and then we just paste in the uh, file there. Okay, so I wrote in here, I'm hoping to give you the text file. I want you to break it into clear tent instructions that are for bookable customer email templates and variables, letting them know how to set up the tent and watch the tent video and do the email bookable template thing with the video, blah, 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 blah. And then it just quickly makes it up here. Uh, the instructions already done. And then I said, hey, I need this in the bookable format so that it will uh, populate variables in for the customer. It did that for me. And then I said, hey, no, 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 no. I want it to be organized and make it have emojis. And then all of a sudden it organized it with emojis. Now I go into my party rental business program called Bookable into the email template section. I copy it in and then let's see the final product that goes to the customer. Okay, I know this is fast paced, but do you know what's going on here? I literally took those subtitles, I made it into a text file, I put it into ChatGPT, and I told them to make that text file into something that a customer can understand, knowing how to set up a tent and attach a video to it, and then make it into my custom variable code for my rental program. And then I put it into my rental program so that it converts into an auto-populating email. You could change these instructions around to whatever you want. It will understand what you're talking about. Whatever rental program you work with, just uh, tell it to adapt to that. Whatever you want, you can just change the variables inside. This thing called ChatGPT is a large language model. It's smart at basically everything. So talk to it like it's smarter than you and that it's your assistant at the same time. Make it work for you. Make it work hard for you and feed it, feed it knowledge because it's gonna take that knowledge and turn it into something that your brain couldn't even comprehend to do. You don't have to be the smartest in the room, you just have to be the guy who tells the smartest guy what to do. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Bookable. So we just go over to settings and we go over to emails and we create an email template just at the bottom. It just says add an email template, which we already did. We created one called 10 by 20 pop-up tent setup. So let's find it, 10 by 20 tent setup instructions. I just pasted it in here straight from ChatGPT and I called it easy setup instructions for your 10 by 20 pop-up tent. I saved it and now let's go send it off to a customer. Okay, now that you know how to put it in the email template, let's fire it off to a customer. Okay, so I'll just find any order here. Um, we'll just click on this person. Even though they're not renting a tent, we could send an email to them. Let's pretend they're renting a tent instead of six foot tables. We'll just quickly send them an email. Look up in our templates, 10 by 20 tent setup right there. Automatically populates with it, with the video already inside. Look how nice that email looks. 
And that is my quick chat GPT hack for the day for your and my party rental business. Thanks for watching. So I know you're thinking, well, what good is this if I don't have Bookable? What good is this for this and this reason? Well, you could literally turn the scrape data into anything you want. You, these uh, pop-up tent instructions, these pop-up tent instructions could uh, literally be made into a landing page on your website that you send customers to. You could uh, link a QR code to it and then put that QR code uh, sticker right on the tents so that when the customer comes and picks up the tents, all they have to do is take a picture. All that they have to do is scan the QR code. It takes them to the page and they get the instructions that way. Uh, or you can send them the email like I do. Uh, we do this for photo booths. We do this for all sorts of things as well. So the website to scrape uh, the data from the YouTube videos is called Downsub. Downsub.com. Go there, scrape the data, put it into ChatGPT, make up whatever you need out of that data and uh, be on your merry way.